Jesus left the crowd and went up a mountain so that he could be alone and talk with the Father. He prayed all night long and in the morning he came down and, and, and called to himself a select group of men that could, that could stay with him so he could teach them and prepare them to preach. He gave them, pyre, he gave them power to to heal the sick and to cast out demons. There was Simon, who was renamed Peter, and his brother Andrew. James and his brother John, called the Sons of Thunder. There was Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas was a twin. Matthew was a tax collector. There was another James in the group, so history has come to know him as James the Less. Thaddeus was also called Judas, but he wasn't the one that betrayed Jesus. There was another Simon, who was called Simon the Zealot. And then there was Judas Iscariot, the one who did betray Jesus. Jesus said to these men, I send you out as sheep among wolves. Therefore, you're to be as, as wise as snakes, but as harmless as doves. Oh, people will hate you just like they hate me. But you're not to worry. The Father will watch over you. He, he knows when a simple sparrow hits the ground and you're much more important than a sparrow. He even knows how many hairs are on your head. Your, your family will expect you to be more loyal to them than you are to me. Ah, oh, but if, if you seek their approval instead of mine, then then you're not worthy of me. Those who follow me must, must take up their cross and bear my shame. If you find your life without me, you'll lose it. But if you lose your life because of me, you will find it. Jesus went into a synagogue to, to teach the people. In the crowd, there was a, there was a man with a, with a crippled hand. The rulers of the Jews thought this might be their opportunity in catching Jesus breaking the laws of God. The law said that a man wasn't to, to work on the Sabbath, and they felt that every time Jesus healed someone, that that was work. They said to him, uh, Is it uh, legal to heal on the Sabbath? Jesus knew what they were thinking. So he turned to the man with the crippled hand and said, Get up. Stand here. So the man got up and stood there. He then turned to the religious leaders and said, I have a question for you. Is it right to do good on the Sabbath or evil? To, to save life or destroy it? They didn't answer him. He said, which one of you, if you had a sheep that fell into a pit, any of you would not hesitate to pull that sheep out of the pit on the Sabbath? Oh, people are much more important than sheep. He then said, 
I will answer your question. Yes, it's legal to do good on the Sabbath. He said to the man, stretch out your hand. And the man stretched out his hand. And immediately, it was healed and just as strong as his other hand. Oh, this infuriated the religious leaders. They immediately started talking about ways that, 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 that they could kill Jesus. Jesus.